Hey everybody, today I am trying out our cauliflower pizza. I'm super, super excited about it. Uh, I just used this cheesecloth. I totally forgot the video guys for you guys, but I grinded up the um, cauliflower in my food processor and made it like a mashed potato-y pasty type thing, but it's very dull watery, so you gotta get a cheesecloth and drain it. This is all the water, the liquid that I got out of it. So you definitely wanna get the cheesecloth and it makes it more of like a baked potato type texture. So that's the first step. Okay, to season the dough, you want two eggs, you want a quarter cup of Parmesan and a half a cup of mozzarella. And in the video they said to kind of, you can't over season your dough. So I'm gonna try some oregano, some garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, probably some salt and pepper, definitely some salt and pepper. And I'm going to add, uh, add it in there and mix it all up and see uh, see how it looks. Okay, I have my eggs and my seasonings in there and the cheese. Now I'm going to add garlic. Two teaspoons of this, which equals four cloves. Chicken is one of the toppings we chose, so I seasoned that and I'm going to stick it in the George Foreman for about 11 minutes. Preheat to 350. Spray your pizza pan with cooking spray. I'm going to put the cauliflower dough on the pan and I'm going to flatten it as flat as I can to uh, make it a thin crust. So there you go, I flattened it out and I even sprinkled a little bit more parm on there because I like parmesan. We're gonna stick it in the oven for 45 minutes. While the crust is cooking, I am going to prepare our toppings. And the cherry tomatoes, <laughs> my hubby had to go to the store and grab some because we ran out. So thank you honey for doing that. He'll be here soon. Okay, here's our toppings prepped and ready to go. Oh my gosh, does that look and smell amazing. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, I'm gonna top it. My can of organic tomato sauce, I'm just gonna pour it on there. Spread it around. Time for the topping. I have one cup of mozzarella. You can use fresh mozzarella if you'd like. And I have chicken, cherry tomatoes, yellow and red, orange peppers, and onion. You can really put whatever you want on your pizza, though. All right, all the toppings are on. Look how awesome that looks. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. I'm going to stick that back in the oven at 350 for another five or so minutes so the cheese melts. Here's my pizza, and I can't really pick it up. It's not crispy, which means I didn't wring it out enough, but it tastes absolutely amazing, and I'm very, very, very happy with it, and I think the family is very happy with it, too. So I recommend it.